Um, I was on a DNR trawler on Tuesday. Uh, very interesting trip. Um, I've been going on the DNR trawler historically twice a year for the past at least 20 years, maybe 25. The trawler has been running every year since 1986. It runs the first week of August, first week of September, and the first week of October. And there's 46 locations in the lake where they drop the net and they pull the net for five minutes and they lift the net and it covers about one acre of the bottom. Uh, they bring the trawl up, the net up on the back of the uh, trawler. It comes up onto a lift and it lifts the net up and then there's a table that's got a grip down door that's closed and they dump all the fish on the, on the table and they're counted. Every single fish is counted. Typically there's six volunteers plus uh, three DNR employees or four DNR employees. So usually 10 folks on there. Um, as I said, I've been going out there every year for many, many years. And this year was an eye opener. On, I wasn't there on Monday, but on Monday, there's a little fish called a trout perch. A trout perch, uh, an adult trout perch is only four inches long. Um, an adult is pretty, Hefty. I mean, they're they're good sized little fish. Uh, they are a primary forage base for every other fish in the lake, walleye included. But on Monday they had one net pull that covered one acre of the bottom, and they counted 16,000 young of the year trout perch. That's amazing. I mean, these uh, young of the year trout perch is about an inch. Some are an inch long. Some are maybe an inch and a quarter, um, but what I want to stress is we on Tuesday we had two net pulls we guesstimated well on the one we counted over 10,000 on the other one we cheated and we did batches of 200 and got an average of weight of the batch of 200 and then all, weighed all of them and it was guesstimated there were 8,000 in that but what I want to talk about think about how much biomass of forage. I don't really know what a little trout perch eats, but to feed 16,000 little trout perch, and they're, you know, they're pretty hefty and they're, they're good size and they're healthy. Um, the, the, the forage potential in this lake uh, at, for a little fish this big is amazing. And then these are forage for bigger fish, which is simply crazy. And it's a good thing, um, but nobody knows why trout perch just have done what they've done. Every year for the past several years though, the number of trout perch has been re ramping up, the adult trout perch number and the juvenile numbers have been ramping up every year. So maybe we've reached a critical mass where um, they're gonna become the predominant species in the lake, uh, even though they're they're not catchable, and but as far as forage goes, that's a good thing. Um, all I'll say about walleyes right now is there was a measurable hatch this year, and by measurable, um, every time you pull the net over the course, you know they'll they'll pull the net 30, 46 times the first week of August, 46 times the first week of September, 46 times the first week of October, all always on the same locations. If over the course of all those surveys, um, the, the catch of juvenile walleyes, uh, young of the year walleyes, is five to seven, that's considered an average hatch. Five out of the last seven years, we've had an average or better hatch. And at that rate, um, an average hatch is gonna result in yearlings the following fall, which they're catching, they're usually nine to 12 inches long. Um, those fish are good for the next 10 years until we catch them all. Uh, exploitation is such that, that every year class uh, declines greatly over the course of time because uh, we take them out of the lake, which is fine as long as they're, re as long as they're replaced. So, but we had a measurable hatch again this year. Even though we had low water levels last spring, uh, we had a pulse of water uh, right as right kind of at the peak of the spawn which flooded the marshes on the river and 
seems to have resulted in a, in a fairly decent hatch. Uh, the numbers always decline from September, uh, August, um, because of predation. But with all this forage in the lake, it's going to be interesting to see if the decline is like it is, has been other years. I mean, we've had times when in August we've had 20, 15 to 20 uh, juveniles per net pool in August. And then by the time October rolls around, it drops down to seven, eight, nine because of predation. So it'll be interesting to see this year. But um, um, the forage potential for this lake, uh, that's what I want to talk about, it is astounding. And it's a good thing. People can scream bloody murder about water quality and whatever they want on Winnebago, but um, as far as fish habitat goes, Winnebago is a superb piece of habitat.